here at the Biostock Investor Meeting, and I'm joined by Pernilla Sanval, CEO of Wint Research. Welcome, Pernilla. Thank you very much. Um, I'd like to start by asking you, why is the development of FOXY5 necessary? Oh, there is a need for new cancer therapies, we know that. Mm. But to be more specific, there is a protein called WIND5A, and it affects signaling and functional effects of tumor cells and the spread of those, and then thus the forming of metastasis. And we know that when metastases are formed, the survival rate drastically uh, drops, unfortunately. Um, but you can't give win 5 as protein. Mm. They, you, it doesn't distribute in the body. Uh, so Professor Tommy Anderson and his team, they developed FOXY5, mm. which then can be given as a drug, and it mimics uh, the effects of win 5 a mm. So this means that um, if there are in particular tumor cells with a low degree of win 5 a and, you, and we add win 5 a uh, FOXY5 instead, then we can uh, in prohibit the metastasis mm -hmm. to be formed. So that's why it's really important. Absolutely. Um, well, of course, cancer is a vast market uh, and there are many different types of cancer. Mm. Uh, but what would you estimate as the market potential for FOXY5? Yeah. Every year, 18 million people are diagnosed with cancer and 10 million people die of cancer. But of those 8 million, uh, over 1 million is, is patients with colon cancer. Mm. And if you then look at the stage there where we are looking at the a particular part of those patients, it's about 25% of those. And, and today, uh, this relates to um, um, a sales of more than 500 million US dollars mm. yearly. Mm. And that is a colon cancer then. Mm. So, uh, Stop that, but there is a potential for this. Absolutely. So with this fast market, of course, uh, there must be a strong competition in this area. Uh, what would you estimate as the competitive landscape? Mm. Yeah, it is, it's a lot going on uh, in this therapeutic area, but one need to remember that cancer is not one disease. Mm. So there's so many pathways involved. So you have to look at what where you are, and currently we are then in colon cancer. Mm. And... Um, there is a lot going on, and I think what the key is now for us is to really spread the word what FOXY5 is doing, and then our investigators, so the competition is really in doing the clinical studies and show the results as quick as possible, of course. Sure. Uh, well, in August you also mentioned uh, some, uh, some interesting news, uh, some new findings from your Phase mm -hmm. 2 study with uh, FOXY5, uh, and that led you to change your study plans. Could you go into that a little mm -hmm. bit more? Yeah. I would love to go into details, but I, I can't do that at this point in time. But yeah, we were very happy with those results. So we saw effect on the primary tumor and the tumor burden, should they call it, and it's called downstaging. And this was earlier than we planned to look at uh, other data points. So it means that we are now revising uh, the plans to ensure that we capture those in the study mm. properly. Of uh, course, it was, was not a, a given that we should see that. And thanks to as an investigator and, and my, my very professional colleagues, uh, this was picked up. So we are looking at the future plans now mm -hmm. to see how we could do it the best way. <laughs> we look forward to hearing those, yeah. absolutely. Uh, so what is the next step for FOXY5? Uh -huh. So um, the next step is, is to analyze this data more deeply and Actually, the intention and hope is that we could have it published. That takes a little bit of time. So, but so in the near future, it is to see how can we ensure that we capture capture those data points in the further development. And that is uh, that is that is short time. So I will come back soon uh, during fall to explain further what will happen with the study. <laughs> Great, looking forward to it. Uh, well, thank you so much, Pernilla, for joining us today, and we wish you all the best. Thank you so much.